Youth unemployment remains the greatest challenge in the country, presenting the biggest headache yet to the government even as it moves to implement its development agenda. And amid the grim statistics, a government initiative appears to be producing the desired results 12 years after it was launched. Meet 30-year-old Elizabeth Wanjiko, a poultry farmer in Bahati constituency whose farm is buzzing with activity with a flock of 3,500 layers. A beneficiary of the Youth Enterprise Fund, Wanjiko is among at least 30,000 young entrepreneurs in Nakuru County who have benefited from over 300 million shillings loans dispersed by the Youth Development Fund over the last 12 years. After resigning from her marketing job in the capital Nairobi back in 2014 with a little capital from her husband and a 300,000 shillings loan from the fund, Elizabeth began her poultry business with just 1,500 baht and the thought of turning back has never crossed her mind ever since. My plan is to be through by May, repaying the loan, then I can apply for more and expand my project. Elizabeth hopes to continue finding traction in the 20 billion shillings poultry sector and develop another 10,000 poultry farm from her 3 million shillings venture in the next two years. And I'm also planning to open up my own shop. You see, when you, you sell directly to the consumers, you're able to make more profit. You're able even to interact with them, know what they want. Boniface Bayer and Moses Karyuki are also among the 30,000 beneficiaries who settled for flour milling at the populous Mawanga Center in Bahati Sub County with their first capital of 50,000 shillings acquired as a loan from the Youth Development Fund last year. With a soaring market of a five kilometer radius, Henrock Millers has managed to give a livelihood to its 10 founders while enriching the food value chain of their market. But we decided to come together with one aim and that is to promote each other's and to earn a living. The group's chair, Moses Karyoki, says members have been able to repay the 50,000 shillings loan last year in the stipulated time frame of three months. Since uh, July, we incorporated this group into a company and we have uh, been able to employ six people, three people are in the field and uh, two people are in the transport department and one is in the store where we, the, the business is based. Youth Enterprise Fund South Rift Regional Coordinator Evelyn Chamutai is a beat over the loan uptake among young entrepreneurs but appeals to more youth to acquire the loans which she says are dispersed equitably. However, Chamutai attributes isolated cases of business failure to impatience among borrowers as well as lack of sufficient knowledge among targeted beneficiaries. These youth want quick money. So most of them, when they invest the, the loans we give them, they want the next month to be making money. So when, when they invest in businesses that don't give them money very fast, you, you find them abandoning these businesses to now go and find short-term jobs. The startups range from agribusiness to many manufacturing enterprises, which are raising prospects for higher economic empowerment among youth who comprise 70% of the country's population.